I'm really hoping you're going to be able to hear me okay in this video. Storm Eunice is currently raging, so I'm going to try and speak extra loudly. Ah, oh, Storm Eunice. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire and this is Yoli. I make videos all about house plant care, sharing tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help keep your plants happy and healthy. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest and most effective way to propagate peperomia plants. I've literally tried so many different ways over the years, but this method has never failed for me and is really quick, really simple, really easy to do. So yeah, let's get into it. I've shown you before in other videos but this is my little peperomia frost that I propagated a while back and it's doing really really well. I have also got these two little peperomia rossos that I started propagating about a month ago so within a month you can tell they're already turning into lovely new little plants. One method of propagation that a lot of people commonly use for peperomia is just by taking cuttings like this so you've got a leaf and a stem and just popping it straight into water, popping the stem in water and just waiting for it to form roots that way. I have done it this way in the past and yes, it can work and it actually did work for me a few times, but I just find it takes quite a long time and I'm quite impatient and I haven't always had a 100% success rate. So the best way that I like to do it is by taking half leaf cuttings. Need to do is chop the leaves in half using a clean pair of scissors. I used hydrogen peroxide to sterilize mine before using them and then plant your leaves a few centimeters down into a good quality soil. I added lots of perlite to mine as it retains moisture really really well and it's just great for propagating. I also added some water into the soil before potting the leaves just to make it easier to plant them. After giving them a really good water, either use cling film to cover the pot completely or place the pots inside a sealed sandwich bag. This just helps to lock in the humidity and speeds up the process. I put mine under grow lights, but any spot that receives a good amount of bright indirect light will do and give them a good spray with water regularly so that the soil doesn't dry out. To speed up the process even more, you can do what I'm doing for these ones and keep them on a propagation heat mat. Just remember that if you're using cling film and not a sealed sandwich bag, this will mean you have to water them much more often. If anybody's got any questions, then feel free to drop me a comment down below and I will do my best to help. I really hope this video was useful. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video.